A common task for managing SAS programs is to version the programs as you're editing and submitting it. Uh, to do that, you would go to the directory where you have your programs. So this is just another example of a different path. And in this case, I would go to the sample um, directory here, source path. I'll go ahead and zoom in for you to see. In this case, the source path is stored on the server. Um, this is a web browser at a particular address that connects to the server and these programs here are SAS programs on the server. And so what you would do is you would select on the program that you'd like to version. Um, you can do so by selecting uh, selection options such as version here. In that case it will load the screen uh, for you to do your versioning. For example, if I wanted to version this program um, for better change control, I would select it. I can select multiple to have it version several programs at once and click on OK. This tells me that um, I have got successfully versioned these two programs at this particular time and then I'll click on OK. So that's how easy it is to version a program. In the event that you want to um, add notes to your version control as extra metadata, you can go ahead and select on the version plus notes option here. Now in that case, you would be presented with a similar screen, but the difference being that you can type extra notes here. So here's an example where I'll go ahead and select the same programs and then um, I'll go ahead and zoom in so you can see. So I've basically selected the programs that I wanted to do version control and then I'll type in in the notes section um, you know the logic has been updated something like that. Uh, normally you would type in information pertaining to your updated programs. Another thing to note is that there's an option for you to uh, create a BAT file if you wanted to run this uh, in, in batch mode later on you can execute that BAT file. So once I finish that I click on OK. This would not only version the program it would also um, collect or record those notes that you've um, you've typed here for extra information. Now another thing that you would do as you're working with your programs are to, to go ahead and edit the program. So if I were to select on this example program and then click on the edit button um, basically the selection of you can select on any program when you click on the edit button it will go ahead and bring up the edit screen. Now the edit screen is a full um, text editor but in this case it's in a web browser and it has some options such as um, the changing of the font size to be displayed, you know, cut and paste and search and all the things that you're, you may be familiar with in, in terms of a text editor and color coding too in terms of your SAS program. So let me go ahead and do an example where I'm going to change the um, just add some some code here sample code update so I'm going to go ahead and update that here can't type <laughs> and then um, once I have it done I'll go ahead and click on OK to save it. So this actually updates the program but it hasn't necessarily been versioned yet. So what you would do then is you would um, version or version with notes to then have the complete history. So this is a good way of managing your um, programs as you're developing it. The last thing I wanted to mention in this section is the ability to actually submit your programs. So go ahead and click on this item down here 
which means that not only are you versioning your programs as you're editing and developing, you can also have it submitted, meaning execute uh, in batch mode on the server, and then return the results to you. So in addition, to, similar to the notes, you can add um, extra information here. I am uh, submitting to tests or something like that. And then once you click on OK, it actually will execute that program on the server. And then um, no, make a version of it as well. So not only are you executing, you're having a complete uh, version control of all the programs that you're submitting.